Soil building plants are an important part of a food forest or forest garden. They help make the soil more habitable for the fruit trees and other crops that you want to grow in that soil over time. And the most important place to grow these soil builders tends to be at the tops of the hills or the high places in your landscape. Forested is not all that hilly here, but this is an example uh, where the top of this little rise is a place where we're growing this wonderful nitrogen-fixing black locust tree. In this location, the fertility that it creates through its nitrogen-rich foliage and its nitrogen-rich fine root drop every year enters the, the landscape at the top of the hill and then fertility, like the fertility in these leaves, tends, just like water, to move downhill with gravity and with the water flow so that over time those forces will assist with moving the fertility of this plant down into the landscape where it can feed the crop plants that are growing nearby like these little tiny persimmon trees and jujube back there. If you think about it, the, uh, the valley bottoms tend to be the most fertile places in the landscape and the hilltops tend to be the least fertile. And that was reflected on this site uh, largely by the soil tests that we did when we initially came here. So on this map, the place where we're standing right now is labeled hilltop. And you can see that the organic matter that we measured here was 1.9%, which is on the low side. Whereas further downhill from here at the low point, organic matter measured 3.4%, so a good percent and a half higher down there. And that's just because of this trend for organic matter to move downhill. We can grow fertility toward the top of the landscape and it will naturally move down with water. And the hilltops tend to be more wind exposed additionally. So the leaves of this tree here are likely to be distributed in a nice a uh, little rain, a little trickle of fertility into the landscape over time and over the decades that can really add up and tremendously benefit the fertility of this landscape, mimicking the way that a young forest does this even in an unmanaged situation. So remember to include some fertility producing trees in your food forest and put them at the tops of the hills if you have the opportunity.